Well, um, I'm not going to bore you with details, but this line got a pretty good crimp. So I'm on a roll here with the crimping and the, the set. This obviously goes to the master on the big one. I'm just going to build this line and not put you guys through the pain of watching me try and crimp this thing because I don't want to go through that. You can go through the pain of doing it, but when we get to the front up here, there'll be more for you to watch. I'm going to be down and up, down and up, trying to get a measurement and get all these bends in. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's in and installed, but um, yeah, I mean, I don't even want to do this. So I'm not going to make you guys watch this. Hi, everybody. Um, okay, so I brought you back after I was doing some brake lines, and I mean, let me tell you, I I don't like doing it at all. Like, brake lines is like my least favorite. Some people don't like electrical. I hate brake lines. I mean, hate them. Absolutely hate them. So, here's the brake lines I got. Coming off the master, goes into the if you can see it, it goes into the um, line lock. It's too high. I like it level, parallel. So this is parallel to the header, pretty close. Makes a nice jog back, goes down. I don't know if you can see it, kicks under. Let me get under here with you folks. Let's see what we got. And then it comes from there, falls the firewall. Falls emergency brake cable comes along, goes into the prop valve, out of the prop valve, and down to the back where the um, where that other brake line is going to go. The match to that over there when I put the bracket over there. That's where she's going to go. When this thing gets, I'll do that, and then I'll do the brakes. I, I might try and. Motor it around. If I can, oh, I gotta get a drive line built. Um, so I can't decide if I'm gonna do the rear springs next, or if I'm just gonna put the coilovers back on it in their crappy mounts, get a drive line, get it to where it stops, and um, then I can move it around and then back it in here and then do the rear suspension, which is probably what I'll do. I don't think the rear drive line's going to change much lengthwise, but at least the rear brakes are on. Rear brake lines. Now i got to modify the rear differential. This line, and this line's all rusted, so I'll get wheel cylinders or pull these 3 16ths line off and go to this, probably this line, this T. Probably put that over here and go to that line right there is what I'm guessing. I'll probably go off because I think this is where the T originally went anyway. So I'll probably, you know, mount the T here, make new lines, go off to here. Um, this bar, this bar, this piece of crap, this mount, these coilovers are all coming off. That pocket, leaf springs are coming out of, going to here. I might put this on top and box the bottom of this frame notch it so the leaf spring can actually move but we'll see how long it is when i put the leaf spring down here on its shackle it may lift the rear end up and give it kind of a 70s 80s you know stink bug thing but look at the top of that it's terrible i don't know what that hole is for but all sorts of really fun stuff going on here yeah I'd love to hang the stock tank and run the thing back up through here and come back up there like the stock tank went. I'd love to do that again and have this thing open up like they're supposed to because that'd be really cool. But in the meantime, this is how much clearance I have in my tires. Ugh. Stupid. Ugh. That much clearance. About an inch on each side. And those fronts ought to tuck the front end pretty good. I'm kind of stoked. Uh, that's what I'm in in this video. I'll make, uh, this might be two parts, but I'll make this video in a one video, I think. And I'll build the front line next. So you can see that. On my 
phone, my camera decided to go to cinematic. I don't know what that means. I'm hoping some of this video looks good, but here's what you missed, if not. So I got the rear brakes on. Hmm? Rear brake lines are in. It looks very cool. Let me spring it down and around. I don't know how close you can see that. Let me get some light in there. Can you see that? Is that better? Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, these lines run out and down and out and down in parallel. They don't touch. This line is the front line to go down here. I got the rear in. Um, it goes down and back to the adjustable proportioning valve. I'm just now taking this line off. Just now making this line. So you can watch this. Here we go. Making this right now. Ah, see how this bubble flare turned out on this one. Let's see how this worked. Let's see. Come in here more close. I wonder if I can get you like really close. Can I get you really close in here? How close can I get you? That's sort of close. Kind of, kind of close. How's that? Can you see? You can see. Maybe. Okay, so I'm going to take this line off right here. Ah. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put the nut on. So that means this line needs to come all the way out, and I bend it up all nice and pretty. Isn't that great? I get to take it all the way out and feed a, a nut on it, and then bend it back the way it was. Gosh, that's special. That was really good. Good job. Way to go. Yay, team. That's so stupid. Stupid dumb guy. Ah. Well, this will be fun. You get to watch me wrestle this out of the car. Yay, yay me. Oh, no, that was dumb. I just broke my camera stand. My tripod just broke. Sad. I mean, I really just broke my tripod. That sucked. You ever like make a mistake and you wish that you didn't, but you did, and there's not much you can do about it, but you know, it happens. And when it happens, it's really annoying. No? Oh, I do. And I actually broke my tripod, I pulled it too far out. And uh, so now I got that. Plus, I didn't put the nut on this like I was supposed to, although I got a beautiful flare on the end of it. Yay, yay me. So now I gotta pull this line all the way out like this. But I'm just gonna pull it like this. Yeah, it came out real good. Here's the nut. Now I gotta unbend this. I had nice bends on there too. Oh, what a. Oh, man. If this wasn't a kid's channel. Things that would. <sighs> I hope none. I hope none of you do dumb stuff like that. I hope you all do it better. Always. <sighs> Whenever you work working on something, think about. I'm gonna do it better than Brant because oh, that's my real name by the way, Brant. Not Jaws, although Jaws is an acronym. If you go back to my old videos, you'll understand what the acronym is, but it actually is for the old company I used to own, Jackson Auto Wire Service. My slogan was, let me check your shorts. Electrical shorts, not those kinds of shorts. Okay, that looks... It looks fairly decent, actually. That'll work. Okay, now stick this line back in where it was. And bend it right back up. 
I even used a tubing bender and everything. It was so classy. Oh, I had a good bend on there. Oh, well. <sighs> Should I try it this way? Maybe. Nope, I'm just going to put it back in the way it was. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Put that in the line lock where it goes. Seven sixteenths. All right. Watch from above. We'll get some light over here to go underneath the spender. Look at this light. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's the one my sister gave me. It's exactly what it is. <clears throat> Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Stupid craters. Oh. I hope that's better. I hope you guys can see that. Did I make it enough of a bend? I don't know. Maybe not. Move the wires out of the way. No, not on top of a spark plug wire. Wrong. Okay, let's see what happens here. If I can get this nut in. Will this nut feed in this hole here? Okay, let's bend this line where I want it, right where I had it in the first place. That's kind of it. Not quite. I didn't want it bent back. I want it like that. Okay, that's better. That's more like what I was looking for. Oh man, so it's not 316, 7 16ths. It must be smaller, which is three eighths, which let's see if I have that line fitting. Do I have it? No. Is that the one that's missing? Probably. I'm thinking my three eighths is missing. Yeah, I'm almost a thousand percent that my three eighths is missing, but let's see how close this 10 millimeter is for, for general purposes. Oh, pretty good. Yeah, that line works really good, actually. That's a good line wrench. I'm gonna have to remember that one. Why is this fitting so long? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That was great. I just stripped that. How wonderful. All right. Let's go like it's supposed to be. Down and a sharp bend. And then a bend here. No, here. Yeah, like that. Like that. All right, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Okay, now. I was gonna go like this. 
this spotless mount. And then come this way. Oh, great. You guys just took a fall because stupid camera. Hey, the battery didn't come out. How about that? That's one for the books. Okay, so this line's gonna come right here like this. All right. <clears throat> yep, just like that. <sighs> so fun. This is just so much fun right now. This is like the best, best idea I had was making brake lines today. Such a good idea. Should I run it down? No, I'm going to do it right here. That's where I wanted to do it, right there. Okay, so I'll bring it up here so I can actually get on it. And I'll cut it and flare it right there. Cut this right here. Cut this line right there. Are you able to watch this? Can you see what I'm doing? No, you can't. You can now, okay. I'm just cutting this flare. Put the T on the end of this thing and make the other lines run the other way. All right, I gotta flare this one. This 316 seems to flare pretty easy. I'm pretty happy about that because the other stuff does not. That quarter inch stuff did not flare easy. This might. Oh, yeah. Don't forget the 3 16 nut. Thank you very much. You are correct. Put the nut on first. Sixteenths. Here's the fitting. Goes in right here. Let's bring this over here so we got some light. So we can see what we're doing. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Mm. Mm. Loosen this up. There. Is that better? Now you can see. wrench this this and this these three I need these okay on wrench this is enough make sure it's level with the edge of that right there nope not enough I take a smaller bite a bigger bite actually. Perfect right there. That's good. Right about there. Let's see, how close is that? 
looks pretty pretty darn exact right there that's what I wanted okay tighten this up no oh, no don't bend I don't want you bending no bending okay this goes on here this goes on here This goes right here. Uh, this runs back down to that. And if I did it right, I'll just bend it and it won't pull. Uh, I got the harder line. I don't know what I was thinking. Galvanized, it won't rust. I don't know what I was thinking when I did that. But that's what I was thinking. I was thinking, don't rust on me. Make it nice. Oh yeah, that's a nice little bubble right there. All right, I'm getting the hang of this tool. Haven't had to redo a line in a little bit of the multiple lines I've done, which is like two of the two lines I've done. I haven't had to redo. Uh, that's not true. I've had to redo both of them. So. Yeah, this is great. Let me make my flare. Feels like that was a flare. Ooh, yeah, that's cute. Good looking flare. Take this off. The cool part is these other lines are just going to go right from there over here. Short little lines. They'll be equal and should be exactly the same if I do them right. That's the goal. Mirror images. I told you guys my theory. I don't like putting a T there and then putting a T over here and then having too much distance away from the master. I want it close by. All right, where is my T? I got T here in a bag. I got T here in a bag. I said I got T in a bag. Here we go. This size. I think the T is half inch. Yep, it is. Okay. So, put this T on. Figure out exactly where I want it to go. Something like that. Just like that. Just like that, right there, exactly. Right there. Yeah, that'll be nice. That'll be real nice. <clears throat> perfect, 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 perfect. Make a nice little bend. There it is, right there. And that'll be nice, right there. Look at that. You guys probably can't see that, but you're going to hear in a second. Here, get down in there. Kind of crooked, but anyway, it's there. Get you guys down here so you can see what I'm talking about. I think you can see it. I'm open right there. That's where that line's going, right there. And then this one's going to go up here and over there and this one's going to go just like that over to the other side and that's what's next is making those 
hoping you can see that. Yeah, you can see that T down there. Let's put you back up here where you go. So you can watch the whole thing in one shot. There you go. Okay. More teeny tiny line. Yay. How much line do I actually need? Need to make this bend. Need to make this bend. And then I need to bend down there. Okay. So this bend. Two of those. I'm gonna make two of those exactly the same. Okay, these should be pretty close to right there. Is that exact? It looks pretty close. say right there right there yep right there okay back here this line actually that might be the end of that video this other one because it was a long time I'm gonna cut this thing together who knows I might cut it I might not it might be a good video this might be a video by itself this video might be its own video I'm cutting these lines down. Maybe you'll see these lines tomorrow. Probably. See you guys later.